Hey friends, welcome back. Going to do an exterior walk around on this beautiful 96 Ford F-150. Uh, regular cab, 8-foot bed, 302 V8, automatic transmission, and of course she's a 4x4, which is pretty cool. Hey, under the hood we did a, a mechanical video, but I uh, just wanted to kind of go over some odds and ends that sort of show the, the truck's originality. The Carfax, of course, supports... Uh, the mileage being original, um, you know, as does the uh, digital odometer. Uh, but note that the truck does have original hoses. Which is pretty cool. Um, might be something, if you're going to rack miles on the truck, maybe consider putting new upper and lower radiator hoses on it. Uh, but everything underneath the hood is, is really, really nice. Um, got just a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of surface rust over here. Underside of the hood looks good. Got a little rust uh, down there on the core support. Let's see if the passenger side gives me a little bit of a better view there we go it's a little bit of a better view again not a truck from down south but a clean clean truck out of minnesota so um what i kind of say with uh with my friends kind of have this saying that hey it's midwest clean and we know what that means um between us you know we know that you know you're gonna have some uh, you're going to have some some surface rust and things like that on an undercarriage. Um, as I'll show you, you know, the truck has a little bit of bubbling on both rear quarter uh, wheel arches. But otherwise, just stands super tall. Beautiful, beautiful truck. 95% uh, original paint. Truck has, uh, the paint has been uh, clayed, polished, and, uh, and waxed with Pinnacle Silver on. Carnuba wax. It's uh, oh, it's pretty awesome. It actually makes white super glossy, which is, I think, pretty hard to do. Um, it's kind of nice. Uh, truck just took a light, light polish uh, with a polish pad and uh, uh, pinnacle product again, uh, a swirl remover. Notice there are there are some flaws in the paint. You can see that touch up there. See a couple touch ups here. And uh, again, we're on the passenger side, and uh, this is the worst of the two wheel wells uh, bubbling here. And as I mentioned in another video, uh, these have been repaired before. I say 95% original paint because check this out. If you look super closely, you'll see a mask line right here. And so this, this wheel arch was sprayed and blended. And again, if you look really, really closely, you'll see the blend. Um, and what I mean is you'll see the texture slightly, slightly change. Look, I am nitpicking here because I'm going to guarantee 95% of folks would never even see that. Um, but, but I grew up around, around cars and I grew up around survivors and I grew up around trying to determine whether or not vehicles have original paint. So when I say something has a hundred percent original paint, I'm super confident that it does. Um, and so in this case, like I said, I think both rear wheel wells have had a little bit of prior work. Um, again, you can see, you can see just that, that mask right here. Nice job. Nice job. And then, uh, you know, then kind of a blend into the rear wheel well. Uh, this side isn't quite as bad. Just a couple minor bubbles. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for rust on this truck. Um, as you saw in the other videos, I encourage you to watch all my videos. Um, you can see that cab corners, lower fenders are good, door jams are good. 
Only other flaws, you know, maybe worth mentioning are just, you know, minor touch-ups. You'll see a touch-up here. Got a couple dings on the rear tailgate. Catch those. I move in the light. You see them there? We got a touch-up here on the rear tailgate. But again, I mean, it's a truck, it's 25 years old. Um, they, they do occasionally get used. Notice, gosh, it's gonna be hard because there's just a few of them. Um, I'm gonna do my best here. There are a couple, couple dings in the hood. Real small, I, I, I can't see them right now. Um, Maybe from hail. Try to get, there we go, maybe from this angle. I, again, I, I'm nitpicking the heck out of this, but I want people to know how nice and clean the truck is. Uh, cowl is really nice. If there's gonna be any issues, you're gonna see it on white for sure. And uh, roof looks good. Roof has a, oh, like there's a ding in the roof. See it there? Got a couple dings as well, so maybe this truck uh, saw just a little bit of hail at some point. Uh, glass is all Ford. All the way around. The windshield uh, possibly had a leak at some point. If you come over to the driver's side, um, you can see that there was some, uh, some sealant put down here i don't think that was factory i don't think you know that would it would leave the factory like that but um look i left this because i i, I don't know i don't want to in, in case you know maybe it had a leak i don't want to open something back up but uh original ford uh glass but it maybe you know maybe had a a small leak at some point I thought this mural in the back window went really nicely with the truck. Uh, you can see out from the interior, um, but uh, kind of obscures and, you know, has a, a cool look from the exterior, you know, looking in. Uh, we've got Putco stainless rails in the back. Truck does have a spray and bed liner that was done early. Um, it's not, this isn't super, super fresh. You can see, see some chips and some wear that way. And a Truxedo brand, tonneau cover. Uh, Truxedo has a, a great reputation in the industry for uh, providing good covers. There we go. Sorry, hard to do with the, uh, with the phone in my hand. But this is a roll style cover with uh, the Velcro secures. You're gonna have straps up in front. But again, this helps you to see. Bed is nice and clean, but has a, a spray and liner. Chrome on this truck is beautiful. That'll really show off in the pictures nicely. I did not test the trailer hitch or the wire. So uh, prior to doing any towing, I always recommend do your own checks, uh, secure that hitch, make sure that things are tight. Coming around to the front end. Again, chrome is gorgeous. Just gorgeous, just a couple real light scratches there. If I scan there, you see them. But uh, you know that happens on these Fords because guys stay. They put their foot on the uh, up on the bumper to access under the hood. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure there's there's anything else that I can really add. Um, this truck is gorgeous. It. It is swirl free. Uh, the paint has tons and tons of gloss. I think this combination of colors is absolutely stunning on this. Uh, and it's a 4x4. And, and, you know, not that you guys are going to be using it to off road. 
Um, but that suspension sits nicely on these trucks. It, it looks it looks like a pickup truck should. She sits nice and stout. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff Tidke. I'm out here in Mazomani, Wisconsin, northwest of Madison. Uh, if you do have any questions at all, feel free to uh, give me a shout, reach out. I'm here to answer anything that I can, um, but I'm super proud to offer high quality vehicles for sale and I'm super excited uh, to get this pickup in the hands of a new owner. Take care everyone. Thank you again. Talk to you soon.